Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution for a 17 and 36. We're going to Daytona today. Um, last Daytona race, um, which was race, you know, the first race of the season. Um, interesting first couple laps, and then I was by myself, so um, Talladega was about the same thing. So I'm assuming that's going to happen today, so I'm ready to fall asleep. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tired, so maybe this race will help me, you know, put me to sleep. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that, because it is a good NyQuil. Um, teams were still a good amount away from the next part, which is the C, uh, CNC programmer. So yeah, we're like 3 million away from that. Um, we did uh, re-sign the same Cheez-It sponsor, I believe, last race. I can't remember, but um, standings were still the points leader by 43 points over the 22 car. <laughs> um, let's go into race settings. It's going to be on hard difficulty, 79% race lane, two times tire and fuel, and flags on all. So without further ado, let's dive into qualifying and see where we start in the race. It's probably going to be last, so I'm going to waste more of my fucking time. But you know what? This will help me get to sleep. Off a of turn four, about to head into trial in a couple seconds. My first lap is a 48.5. Let's see what it's going to be this time. Uh, please. You know, it's unbelievable how I start last every time, and I was still a good, decent amount off. And Ryan Blaney, second? Uh, I don't... I, this game loves to waste my damn time. Oh my god, I was like... Like eight tenths of a second off from forty second. Uh, I mean, it could be the group qualifying thing. Wait, they don't even do group qualifying anymore. We should play tracks. I don't think so. That none of this makes any sense. Here we are. The race is about to begin. Get ready. And green flags out. We're underway here at Daytona. I'm starting fortieth, so it's another uh, last to first kind of challenge. I'm gonna try to be careful because you know with the wonky physics in the game, I don't want to careen and die. So. We got 11 laps. It used to be, uh, well, since it's 400 miles, it's only uh, 11 instead of the normal 14. But yeah, so we have even less time to catch up to the front. So we got to gain as much spots as possible and then hope that the leaders don't pull away and then we can do something from there. The car has been a little bit more upgraded since then, so maybe it'll be a bit better. But we'll try to see what we can do as Danica's dead last, which is kind of hilarious. We're going to go three wide here. As long as we have the bottom, I'm kind of comfortable with that. Oh my god, we're four wide. Oh gosh, freaking, I don't know, Dave Reagan was uh, getting collected in almost a big calamity there, but we're still good, we're still good, that was pretty hairy, I was around that, so that's not very good, but in one lap we've already moved up uh, eight spots, maybe nine as we come across the line, like I said, the car has been majorly upgraded since uh, the last time I was at Talladega, and freaking um, Chris Busher pretend I didn't exist, so thank you Busher for being uh, a complete psychopath and trying to kill me. But we're going to head into one once again. We're in a P30. I think Kyle Busch is the race leader with Junior in second on the outside. We just need to gain as much spots as possible, and then we can, you know, take it from there. And we got in the back of the net, which that's not getting up to the front as fast as possible. So that's uh, that, that's the exact opposite of what I was talking about. But um, I don't know. I just hope everything goes okay. You know, Talladega was interesting, and then that second half, nothing happened. I, you know what? Can we can we please have a, a, a decent you know race? You know, at least your trigger plate, like something happening from beginning to end, and not just nothing happening at some points. But we're we're 26 now. We're go, we're getting up through the field pretty quickly with just the draft, and yeah, the car is definitely much more upgraded since the uh, even like the beginning of the season at Daytona and stuff. It does feel like it sucks up more. The, feels a little bit faster. So that's always a big help. Um, just slicing and dicing through the field left and right. And just trying to be careful. Try not to make any contact with them as I can't even hold a straight line in the back straight away. Which is much harder. It's easier said than done. You never would think that would be a factor. But it is. It is. You know, being in a straight line is pretty difficult. Do you, do you imagine you know, drawing a straight line on a piece of paper? Do you know how hard it is to do that? It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of like that. We're going to get to the inside of Trevor Bain here for 24. Fourth, get into Eric Jones's draft now, and looking up ahead of me, looks like Junior and Kyle Busch are just checked out. They're all almost by themselves. They're at least well, I mean they're they're together, but they're just they're like two car arrow tangoing something. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good right now. Just please, car, don't do something stupid. Just need to wait for an opening to get to the inside like that, and then I do, and then. Okay, uh, now we're three wide, so hopefully uh, Kane doesn't do what Busher did and run me off the track. Actually, I'm not giving Kane any room. Uh, but we're going to three here. Oh my gosh, Almadinger didn't 
or kind of pinched me down a little bit, but we have our nose on the inside there. We get the position, or at least get side by side with them. Get 19th. Hughes uh, from McMurray's draft here. Try to get side by side with Newman. Go in the middle. Try to get by McMurray on the outside. This car just slices and dices through traffic like butter. Like it's it's just insane. We're gonna do the same thing here with Bobby Labonte and McMurray. Gets the inside. Go in the one. Try to get Stewart's draft, and we should be able to do just that. The cars aren't super, super broken out, so maybe if, if I can, can like slingshot past Stuart, I can catch the other pack up ahead of me. So I'm hoping for that. Uh, we, just, we just need to execute just right. There we go. Get to the inside of Stuart. And we might clear him there. And this isn't looking good because now I'm really not that close up to that pack ahead of me. So this looks like the point in the race where I'm just going to be stuck all by myself. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. I'm actually catching Jimmy. <laughs> I didn't uh, I was, I'm kind of surprised with that honestly. We're gonna go on the outside of uh, him. Ryan Blaney's kind of on the outside with us as well, so definitely a perfect move I executed and it kind of paid off. Boyer's gonna try blocking the entire track and you know, he almost, you know, it worked. It definitely worked. Now we're just stuck on the outside, can't really do anything. Uh, where's the script? There needs to be a caution to come out. Uh, tire wears and all that, it's like at 90, I mean, tire wears not going to play a big factor here, but maybe the AIs will do something stupid. I don't know, it seems like the, like the more the tire wear is added, the, the more they derp. So, now it's like two times more likely they'll do something stupid. Let's just, let's just get to the inside and just pass them like that, like we've been doing the entire race. So obviously this isn't working, but, uh, Ryan Blaney, I did just notice, he started like second, dropped back all the way to 14, so... He's losing a lot of ground. Probably not as much ground as Brad, because Brad loses the most ground in almost every race. And now he's hogging the bottom lane. I get in the back of him. And can I peep my nose down the inside? Yes, I do. Get Jimmy's draft. And we should be good to clear him at least off of two eventually. And we do just that. Now we're in 14th. I think 12th is probably all the best we're going to do, considering... Like, everybody else up ahead of me is too far up there, so... I think 12 is probably the best we can do, unless there's some caution to provide a miracle for us and people pit, which... That would that would be nice. But, we're catching Jimmy here. We're sucking up to him pretty good. And, um, let's try to get to the inside of him here, going into the trial. No, he just blocked, so... That's... That... Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> Three laps left to go, and really, um... A little bit better than uh, like the first uh, Daytona race and first Talladega race, but that's not really saying a whole lot. Kyle Busch is leading. Junior's kind of like chilling there, I think. Let's get the inside of Jimmy as Jimmy's going to block the inside line like crazy. And try to get Boyer's draft up ahead of me, and he ducks back to the outside. So, Boyer, just just help, help out a homie. Oh, God. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, what if? Why am I 14th again at a freaking restrictor play track? Can I please get better than 14th? I think Talladega got like 5th, but still. Like Daytona, I got 14th. And I don't want to get 14th again. That might have screwed me right there because I'm losing the draft. Please don't let it be. St I don't want to get screwed out of that because of that. <laughs> that would be so stupid. We got two laps left to go. Um, looks like uh, Kyle's probably gonna win the race. Junior's like kind of there, but he's not really gaining on him, which I don't understand that. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about, but try and get the Jimmy's draft here again. Should be able to get by him as long as he doesn't like block the entire track, which he's been doing like, the past two times. I was trying to get by him, so we'll see. We'll get a good run on him, but it's like at the worst part of the track. But the car kind of stalls out. We get in the back bumper from a little bit. Let's try to get to the inside of him going in the four, off of four, but it's not going to be enough. He has Boyer's draft still, and um, it's, this is starting to get a little bit difficult. I just can't get by him. White flags out one more time around the racetrack. Jimmy's just blocking the inside line as much as possible. I can't really do anything. If I try to go to the outside line, the car will just stall because nobody's up there to help me. So I don't know uh, what exactly to do unless Boyer uh, gets to the outside and helps me at like, the perfect time, which is like right now. I'm gonna try that out and see what happens. Okay, that's um not really working out. Now Jimmy's going on the outside, so maybe this would help. And Jimmy's kind of blocking me again. Jimmy, you're doing such a good job at blocking me. It's starting to get a little disgusting here. I'm, I'm not really liking that all too much, but 
We see a couple cars up there, like, looks like Menar, Logano, and uh, Edwards all losing ground up ahead of us, so they were losing pace somehow, but off of four, Kyle Busch wins. Jimmy's going to block us to the very end. We're going to rub up on him, but not been enough. So. We got 14th again, so nothing was accomplished. We just, nothing was improved. First, he saw race 14th, and then this one was 14th. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's check out our earnings, or at least the race results. Um, we get 14th again. Brad's probably going to lose. Probably be beaten 40th. No, 39th. Okay, he beat one guy. That's good. Kenza got 32nd. Kyle Busch did win. The Biff got 7th and Mears 8th. I just saw that. So, um, when she's it, bro, at least got top 10. So, that's something else. Race winnings, um, jeez, it's going to be the worst we can really get, considering... We, I mean, I think we got our top 15, but that's really it. So it's not gonna be that much. Not a not a big deal, but oh well. 355. That's <laughs> uh, that's not very good. Um, point standings. We're still gonna be the points leader, as you see, by geez, uh, 38 points. And uh, that was Kyle Busch's uh, first win of the season. I just noticed that. So that's interesting. So I mean, he's locked into the chase. And Brad has another tough break award. I I would love for somebody to like calculate like in all my last plays up to this point, which has been 37 or well, 36 plus uh, 17. That's like fucking 53 or something up to this point. How many times Brad has the tough break works? I swear to God, at it, it has to be at least 15 to 20 times at this point. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Next race will be at Kentucky. That should be a little bit better, considering we've been pretty good at the mile and a half in general this season with all the upgrades, so that's that's nice. Um, we picked up some new secondary sponsors. Again? How many secondary sponsors can we have that's not really secondary? It's like a fifth secondary sponsor. Let's look at that. Um, oh, look at that. Okay, so that technically is a, a new award, so... Say so we get first, um, first, and then we're gonna go with third for this, then top five, and then top. Okay, so the game basically did it for me. <laughs> um, I'm definitely gonna put in first because we seem to win a lot, so um, we're gonna definitely do that. The car is quick enough at this point; we don't really need any more upgrades. So uh, first for that, yeah. Okay, so uh, first for that, third for that one. That seems to be like the most in terms of uh, pricing when it comes to like what the top fives are like if you look at Moob top fives throughout the entire thing um well okay four or four is the most but the elbrock one's the best one so i don't know we're just leave it as it is the game kind of uh added in for me with uh no issues so yeah not not a big deal <laughs> so uh next race will be at kentucky let's check out the chase standings real quick just to show you what's going on with that so seven people are already locked in and chase elliott's just barely in on the bubble so um, that's really it for this race. The uh, next one will be at Kentucky. Thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate the love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. Um, I'll see you all at Kentucky, and as always, have a good day, everyone.